Hi everyone, welcome back to the Doge Academy and welcome back to introduction to programming using Java. So, for us to learn a little bit more about for, nothing better than just doing a quick exercise. So here we have one small exercise. We have to create an algorithm that shows the square numbers from one to the number the user typed. Now, it will get at some point in your life as developer that you are going to get something, a task to do that you do not know, for example, some terms. In this case, for example, I don't know what is a square number. So you just come to Google and try to figure out what is the square number. So for example, a good thing is usually square number for kids. So usually they will probably explain uh, in a way that's easy for you to understand. So if we look at this, the square is the result of multiplying an integer by itself. So just reading this, we are able to see here that we have some kind of a formula. Basically, if you replace this with variables, as you can see, you just have to multiply the variable by itself. So this is what we have to do up to the number that the, the user is going to input in the software. Let's create here then a exercise, not insert, and then Java class, exercise for 01, PSVM. Uh, I'm going to copy the exercise here. Again, please try to do it yourself and then uh, you continue the video. So I first need to get the number from the user. So scanner, scanner, new, scanner, system, dot in. Okay, and then I know that I have to scanner, dot next, int, and out enter, local variable. And I can say not i because i am going to use for the for loop. This is the number. Okay. Nice to have a message here for the user, so just add a message before, uh, type a number. Okay, now we need the for loop. So for, then I need to declare the variable int i, starting uh, with 1, then all the way to mm, when i, until i is not lower or equals them num what I want to do I want to go one by one so basically if the user inputs 200 it's going to start with one and then it's going to count all the way up to 200 now south I want the square number so basically the square number it will be I multiplied by itself so if we go back to the to this one here, and let me increase a little bit. Uh, if we go all the way to, well, actually here it's going to 4916. It's a good one if you can see like kind of the first square numbers, and then you will get an idea if your exercise is working or not. So you just have to find a place where it tells you, well, for example, like this. So since we will be doing from 1 to 12, then you can compare and you see if your exercise is actually working. So let's go back here and then control shift of 10. And we can input 12 and then we can compare. So basically 1, 4, 9, 16, or just put like this and then you move like here and then you can compare and basically they are exactly the same. So it means that your exercise is working perfectly fine. Okay, so this exercise was way too simple. So let's do another one. Uh, let's use, uh, let me see, let's use multiplication table. Multiplication table. So I want you, let's see here, images, the multiplication table of five. There you go. So let's use this one. Now, try to create the software that will show the multiplication table for the number so this is what you have to, to achieve. So let's see how that, let's try to even print exactly like what we have here, instead of just printing the, the results. So let's go back to our software, and then we are going to create another exercise, out insert, Java class, exercise for 0, 2, and then PSVM. I'm not going to use scanner, because I just want to use the one from 5, so if you go back here, we know that we are going to have something fixed and something that's going to be 
incremented one by one. We know how to increment one by one, and we are going to go all the way to uh, 12. Uh, in my country, it goes all the way to 10, but uh, let's use this one, one all the way to 12. So let's create here a for loop. So for, and then I would like to start with a variable. So int i starting with value in memory of zero. And then I want this to be, uh, actually it doesn't start with zero. If you go back to the exercise, it starts with one. So it cannot start with zero. So one, and then until i is not equal or less than 12. So basically it will count from one to 12. And then of course I want this, this to go up one by one. So just keep incrementing one by one until it, you reach the number 12. Okay, so now control child to format our code. Uh, let's print here. So first I'm gonna print the number. And if you look at the exercise, this one is the one changing X one fixed. So the one changing is I plus the one fixed will be uh, a string X five. And then exactly like we have here, we have a space equals and then a result. So we have a space equals and then the result. So the result, it's I multiplied by five. So control L, then control shift F10. And if you want to compare, we have exactly the same on the left and on the right. So I think that's, uh, that's it for this video. Let's continue with more topics in the next one. See you there. Bye-bye.